Hi guys, Ross here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be starting a new series called 10 Minute Tuesdays. In this series I'm going to be showing you how to recreate a post that either I've done or that you guys have seen and show you how to do it in 10 minutes or less. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create this simple cube scene in Cinema 4D. So without further ado, let's set the timer and get straight into the video. So I'm going to jump into my composition settings. I'm going to set this up for Instagram. So 1080 by 1350. I'm going to set my render to Corona and I'm going to get a camera, not that camera, a Corona camera. And I'm just going to go to the coordinates and just zero all of this out so that we're in the center. I'm then going to go to Corona camera. Actually, no, I'm not I'm going to go to composition and turn on grid so that we have the rule of thirds and this is kind of how photographers will um, help to lay out their composition if you don't know anything about the rule of thirds uh, definitely check that out online have a little read about it okay and we're going to start off with a plane now I'm just going to go to the coordinates of the camera and increase this on the y-axis just so we can actually see this plane and I'm going to put on uh, quick shading no I'm not there we go, constant shading, just so I can see it a bit better. Um, okay, cool. So let's lower this camera down, or let's actually, yeah, lower it down and tilt it up. And actually, whilst we're here, I forgot to mention, uh, I've got this great program, and essentially you can drag a reference image in there. So I'm gonna go to the actual reference image I used for the post, here it is, cool. And basically this will always stay on top of any program you've got. So I can stay in cinema and I've always got a reference image there on the side. Uh, it's called Pure Ref. You can just download it online. Really handy program. So I've lined up the plane here. Uh, next step is to grab a cube. And let's scale this. Let's zoom out. And just ping that there. And let's scale up this plane like way up. Because we want to, even though it's not going to be life size, we want it to be, you know, kind of a bit of a larger scale. Um, okay, cool. Let's readjust this camera. I want to go above the plane and have that round about there. Cool. And then let's scale, let's move this cube up. And let's move it, make sure it's over the top, a bit closer towards the camera perhaps. And let's change the focal length on our camera. So let's put that to 80 millimeters, which means we're gonna have to zoom back out a little bit and drop this down. And again, drop the cube down. Okay, cool. Let's rotate this a bit. And we wanna turn on that just so we can get a better idea of the shading. So we're looking at something like this. Cool. Right, so the next thing we want to do is add a HDR. Um, so for Corona, you go to Corona Sky, changes to HDR. And I used a HDR from HDRI Haven, a great resource for free HDRIs. Uh, I'll drop a link in the description. And I believe I use this railway bridge. So I'm going to drag and drop that in there. And we want to set this up so that the sun is to the right hand side. So let's find that source. It's probably around there. And if we go to interactive viewport, we can start to look at how this is affecting our image. So I'm actually just going to use the rotation here. Cool. So we're starting to get a bit more like the original post that we had. That's pretty good. Let's bring it in a little bit like that. Cool. Now I didn't actually use this HDRI uh, for the back plate but it seems to be working as it stands at the moment so we'll leave that. And now let's just start applying materials. Now I had a fairly simple material set up. Um, I just had a like kind of orangey kind of color. So I had about about 50% and I don't think I actually tweak these settings too much. I think 
it's kind of like around that and I'll just turn on a bit of reflection and let's turn the glossiness down on that a bit whack that on the cube and then for the floor I had a bit different but still roughly the same, it's just a tiny bit less saturated. Drop that on the floor. So let's look at how this is shaping up. Okay, cool. So it's a bit orange at the moment. Um, so what we wanna do is just take some of the saturation out of the HDRI. So I'm gonna go and put a filter on that. Come in here and drop this down to minus 50 saturation. And this is where our back plate for the HDRI is getting a bit, um, obviously now desaturated. So what I did is I used a separate HDRI. So I got another Corona Sky, change this to HDRI. And then I believe I used this one here, drag that in there and start to set this one up so that it looks like the sun's coming from the right hand side. So let's shift that along a bit like this. And what we want to do is turn off visible reflections, visible in refractions and visible G by GI. And then untick visible directly on our actual HDR that is lighting the scene. So if we now just have a look at this, we can start to see that we've got a nice orange floor and cube, um, but then a nice blue background as well. Okay, cool. So let's start going into our interactive rendering. And sometimes I'll tweak with the settings in here. I'm just gonna hide that now, I don't need that. So let's have a look. So I might turn up the filmic highlights. Actually, let's leave that down. Let's put some filmic shadows in there and then also up the contrast. Um, let's turn on our LUTs. And I've got a nice color correction here. Uh, these are just the built-in ones with Corona. But, so yeah, I'm just gonna leave that one on. Um, exit out of that. And then I just wanna tweak this a little bit. So I'm gonna scale up the cube a little bit. And I want to, come on, let's preview this. I want to drop the camera down a little bit and I'm going to bring the plane towards us a little bit just so the shadow is just a bit closer or well, actually let's just scale the whole plane down a bit just so it doesn't go as far into the distance and there's more of a gap between the floor and the cube and essentially that is how I created that cube scene really simple setup hopefully this helps some of you guys just even kind of get a brief understanding of how you can use cameras and some simple shapes to create a really nice scene you know if you haven't used cinema before and you kind of want to dive into it this hopefully should give you just a brief look at the kind of things that are achievable within this program um, so yeah, this has been 10 Minute Tuesdays. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button and turn the notifications on if you haven't already. And thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.